how to drag an autofill alphabet series like A, 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 B, A, C, etc. in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, we are going to autofill alphabet series and we are going to get alphabet series like A, 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 B, A, C, A, D and so on. In a previous tutorial, I have showed how you can autofill alphabet series from A to Z like this if i write here a and if i drag this it will autofill this alphabet series but if i drag this a bit more it will start from a again once you cross the alphabet z okay now here i want to change this a bit i want to start a a once we cross the alphabet z okay now here the, this one should be a b and so on so how you can do it? Excel doesn't have any built-in function for this. So we are going to create a custom function for this. Okay. To do that, click on the developer tab. If you don't have developer tab in your ribbon, please check this tutorial. Once you have added your developer tab, click on Visual Basic, click on Insert, and then click Module. Now you will have to write this code. Okay. Code is simple, and you can copy it from the description. Okay. Just paste it here. Nothing else. Now close the VBE. Okay. Now if I click on the first cell of any column, okay, and write equal to and then alphabet A L P A C, and then you can see our custom function is already here. It says function and alphabet series. So double click this, okay, and then we're going to use the row function here. We don't need anything, we just have to add open and close parenthesis and close parenthesis again and if i press enter we have a in the first cell so if i drag it and here is our alphabet series from a to z once we have passed z then it's going to start from a a then a b and then a c and then a d now here is the problem if this function is placed in the first cell it will work okay if it's in the third cell let's press enter we have c and we have to start with a so we have to be careful where we are placing the function if it's row three and you can see this is the row number if it's in row three then we have to change the function a bit before the last parenthesis you have to add minus two because we are in the third row so if we minus the first two row it will start from a if i press enter we get our a now let's say we are in the 10th row so the function is same just we have to include minus nine so and press enter we have our starting serial point okay so the trick is simple which row you are in if you are in row five then you have to minus four okay if we are in row seven we have to minus six so this is how this works now one more thing you have to be careful if you don't save this workbook in xlsm format it will not work next time you open it. so you have to save this workbook in excel macro enable workbook let's see how you can do that click on file and then click on save as any location you want and any name you want and the format save as type should be excel macro enabled workbook this one dot xlsm format select that and click on save so if you open this workbook again add enable content and use the function again it will work just fine now here we have to click on enable content if you don't want to click on enable content you can check out this tutorial on macro security it will help you understand how to remove that notification okay this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial